Today we're going to use FileBot to batch rename your Plex Media Server's TV episodes. As we touched upon in a previous video, we'll follow Plex's best practices for naming your files and folders. Before you even start using FileBot, at a minimum, each episode has to have its episode number in its name, and that number should match the one that's in the TVDB. Let's look at the Spider-Man cartoon series that first aired in 1967. The episodes, which are named, for example, S01E01, are not named according to Plex's guidelines in that they simply reflect the season and episode. If you scan these files without renaming them, it will work as we saw in a previously published video. The Plex agent would simply look at the title of the series and scrape the information according to the S01E01 file designation. However, if you want to follow Plex's recommendation, and let me click on the name to start editing it, you'll want to start with the series name, Spider-Man, and in parentheses 1967, space, dash, space, S01E01, and optionally at the end, you can add the title of the episode which is, if we look at the TVDB page in the background, The Power of Dr. Octopus. So let's add space dash space and The Power of Dr. Octopus. But as you can see, it's going to be very cumbersome to go through every episode and every season to rename the files. So this is where the magic of FileBot comes in. I'll go ahead and hit Escape. I'm not going to rename it because I want FileBot to rename everything. Let's go ahead and spin up FileBot. I'll go to the Start button, then hit FileBot. The first thing you'll notice is that I'm using an older version of FileBot, which is 4.7.9. The reason I'm using this version is because my Plex Media Server is installed on Windows Server 2016. And I've had problems. In fact, I haven't been able to get to the Microsoft App Store from Windows Server 2016, and the store is where the latest version of FileBot resides. Please keep in mind that I am using an older version as we continue, but with that said, the mechanics of the process should still be the same for the newer versions. The first thing you'll want to do is click on the Load button on the left-hand side of the screen, where the original files will be listed. Then click on the folder of the series, which is Spider-Man 1967, you don't want to select the Parent TV Shows folder. Just drill down to Spider-Man and double-click it, and make sure that the folder is listed in the file name field, not the seasons themselves, because once I click Open, FileBot will traverse down to the season subfolders and scan every episode of every season. So, the next thing you'll want to do is click on the Match button and select the TVDB. What it's doing is going out to TVDB and seeing if something matches my title. It returns a whole bunch of possible matches, but if you hover over the first entry of Spider-Man, you can see that series is also known as Spider-Man 1967. So let's go ahead and select that, and let's look at the returned results. We can see that it's matching up the season and episode number, and it's filling in all the blanks with the renamed file. If we want to strictly follow Plex's guidelines, we want the file name to be something like S01E36 instead of 1X36. To change the format of the renamed file, you'll want to right-click on the Match button and select Edit Format. Instead of the SXE format, I'm going to choose the S00E00 format. When you click Use This Format, you'll see the renamed files immediately. As you scroll down the list, everything stays synchronized in both the left and right panes, so you can verify that the renamed files are correct. Of course, you'll want to make sure that all the titles match the entries in the TVDB for each season in the series. Let's go back to FileBot and start the renaming process by clicking the Rename button. I have Windows Explorer up in the background so you can see the renaming taking place. And there it goes. Now you can verify in Explorer that all episodes have been renamed correctly. So that's it. Now you can scan the Spider-Man folder into Plex as a TV show, and it should scan everything without any problems. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.